Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Commission Streetwise and Vindicatus play EU4. Hello. Hello. This is our France Brandenburg slash Prussia slash rule your face off and uh, Venice game. So, Commission, how are things going over there in uh, in in Greece and uh, Constantinople? Very badly. I thought I had it in the bag, and then my ally Poland decided to give all my enemies military access, meaning that my naval blockade was for nothing. And now they are going to siege out my stuff. So, not well. Was Thanks, that an Poland. offensive war? Yes, it was. Ah. That's uh that's a thing. Yeah, they were probably all like, eh, you know, you kinda deserve that yeah, one. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it looks like Poland took a bunch of cash and Chelmno from the Teutons, so we are safe for now to connect the lands. Get out of here, Bernard. Nobody likes you. Bernard. Yeah, one of my vassals just had to leave. Because, you know, stuff. Vastly things. Yeah. Just, just vastly things. It's like a... Didn't I just have to scold my son privately last time? Or publicly last time? Something like that. Hashtag get vassled. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> More like hashtag what a vassal. What a vassal. Or, or a pain in my vassal. Ha! Huh? Pain in your vessel. Monster, I don't know that I really... Oh, yeah, I do want to royal marry you. I don't want to lose too, too legitimacy. All right. Hell yeah, count me in. Now, I am allied with Scotland. Indeed. I have fleet basing rights, and yet my troops are exiled in Scotland. Why? I believe you can't have troops in foreign territory. Oh, I have to ask for military access. Yeah. Well, that's dumb. That's, that's the deal. Alright, we're going to go to war with the Hansa, which is an East Frisia and Gallery fight here. <sighs> Hopefully. Uh, Austria's already in a war. Let's see if I can bring any big guys in with me. I can bring in Poland. That'll work. Oh, won't it be nice to have Poland in a war with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah but... it, it's my own impatience. I should have waited. I saw the Ottomanian manpower was very much down from their other wars, and I thought I could handle it, and I didn't really well, consider their allies. You really can't... Uh, that and, and the computer will... Or, excuse me, the AI will do terrible things to its future economy by taking out loans and just throwing mercenaries at you. So... With a master or with a powerhouse economy kind of nation like the Ottomans, you can't really judge their power based on their uh, manpower because that first hit is going to be a 50 stack of mercenaries that they just loaned up for. Right, gotcha. So I mean, they're they're going to throw, you know, 50,000 troops at you. They're they're mercenaries and they're probably not that great, but it's gonna hurt. And so they have, and so it hurts. Yep. But man, if you can break it. Yeah, if you can withstand that first big hit, you're golden. The Hansa have very weak allies. I think it's time to do this.
Brittany, I need you done with that war. Ten prestige or ten admin power. You know, normally I would take the admin power, but I think I'm gonna take the prestige just because I need a little boost. Hmm. But ordinarily, I would not do that. Mm hmm. That admin power. That admin power mm -hmm. drives the ideas. <laughs> Five years oh, until I go back to the two times. Get done. Get done with that war. Oh yeah, I know why I was hanging on to that. Diplomat. Oh, very bad of me. Yay, Munster loves me. <laughs> oh boy, a comet on top of my war. Thanks, guys. It's an No! The economy, you fools! No, after this Dust. war, it's an omen. Economy. I don't even think I'm going to bring a general for that fight, honestly. Getting ready going to go to back war. to war. You're going to war as well?
I am. I'm going to war with the Hanza. Oh, I see the Come to war with the Ottomans. It's great. <laughs> see the world, they say. Mm-hmm. I still have a crusade against them, so, you know. Yeah, I'm, getting, I'm reaping the benefits of the crusade. I sure wish other people would be a crusading. Well. <laughs> Come crusading. It, it, it is medieval Europe. Great. Nobody really wants to go do that. I guess it's not really quite medieval Europe anymore. But whatever. Yeah. Alright, I have stack wiped the, uh... The dog's here. You stacked wipe a dog's ear? The, um... Hanza. They have been stack wiped. Which is good. Very good. Alright, Navy heading back. Time to declare war. You've not picked up any new allies except for Portugal. How many oh, troops does Portugal have? Portugal is 22,000. That shouldn't be an issue. Oh, the aristocrats have rejected the Republic. Rebels! No! Venetian nobles! Oh, why you gotta be revolting what, what, there. What do nobles get if they win? Change of uh, regime, I think. That's not too bad, yeah. I think it's a new leader, isn't it? No, that's pretender rebels. I don't know. You can check in the war or the uh, their goals on yeah, the yeah, stability sure. badge. Yeah, I'll Maybe maybe this is okay. What are their demands? It's um, probably not. They want like a, they want increased aristocracy. Uh, it's like some trade efficiency, missionary strength, stability cost modifier. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to leave them alone. I just can't <laughs> afford to with this war right now. It's the end of the world. Go France. England is allied with no one but Portugal. Appreciate the help, Tyrone. You'll be the last ones to die. Wasn't that, that nice? I thought so. Oh, he's got a two-star general. Holy crap! Alright, we've killed the rebels. Kill the rebel scum. Right. Oh, vassals, where are you going? No! Okay. Portuguese army? What Portuguese army? I don't see no Portuguese army. <laughs> oh wow, look at Provence. They just lost Aragon to Avignon. Or Provence. Huh? To Avignon. When did that happen? Uh like three videos ago? Really? Yeah, I took it I took when I crushed Provence I gave them uh Provence because I didn't want to pay yes. admin points to core it out. So I had already vassalized Avignon, and then just gave oh, them bronze. Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go. And they'll core it out for you, and you get the free cores. Right! Nice! See, folks, this is this is why uh, you let Vindy do things. He's smarter than the average bear. hey -o. You know, I didn't entirely think this one out. <laughs> I, I put this 20 stack on Ireland, thinking to myself, Oh, hey... I'll, uh, 
Just you know get what, it Alan? back later, deal. and then I will no, take that I'm not deal. gonna get it back. <laughs> what? What? Do you lose Constantinople? All right, we'll call it a draw. <laughs> Did you seriously white piece them? <laughs> I uh, managed to get a white piece out of that disaster. Oh my god, you wow. lucky dog! Wow, I can't believe you just managed that. You Respect. lucky, you're lucky safe dog. For five more years. Uh. <laughs> wow, Given I could not I believe that. Yes, yes. Wow. I'd like to thank my commanders, my trade luck. That's fantastic. Well done, sir. Yeah, oh. I, I would take that. That that could have gone so much worse. I didn't call mm -hmm. Scotland into the war. Why? Oh no. Why? 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 Oh well. No, General Wilhelm. I don't know. I keep thinking that I'm vassaled with him. But. So, funny thing, Noble Rebels, I'm no longer distracted by this war. Let's talk. Well, I made two major mistakes here. I should not have left put my army in co, or my navy in co. Well, actually that one worked. Well, yeah, I could have put it in Ayrshire. That's what I should have done. That would have been the smart thing to do. Let it not be said that I don't do the smart thing. Oh, wait, I don't do the smart thing. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll be saying that. Yeah. Man, and I just looked so good a minute ago. I am feeling pretty damn good about how that ended up turning out. And you know you screwed up when you're happy with white piecing out of a war you started. Hey, yeah. but you know what? Any landing you can walk away from, right? Yeah. Oh, you son of a... Stupid noble rebels took the province. Although, uh, they're noble rebels, so no one cares about them. There's no nationalism or anything. Denmark declared war on the Teutonic Order. No, they're going for Danzig. Damn you, Denmark. Alright, Denmark's gotta die. All right, uh, Venice needs to not fight anyone for a while because <laughs> we have no manpower now. Yeah, you don't want to get into a peasants' war. No, trust do me. not. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> I believe you. Oh no! Bohemia is allied with Denmark. This is going to get interesting, folks. So, Denmark has an alliance over Sweden and Norway and with Bohemia. They're going into a war right now to take Danzig, which is a problem. Because I'm in a peace for five more years against uh, the Teutonic Order, so I can't go in on them. Mm. So I'm going to have to go to war with Denmark to reclaim my territory. Unfortunately, that means Austria and Poland are both going to have to be available for that war. Because I ain't doing that solo. But I guess that means I get territory out of Bohemia and Denmark. Damn it, Brittany. Damn it. Brittany, you are the most pain in my butt ally that I've ever had. But I am going to take Lubeck. Now how much you want to bet I'm going to get out of this war and Brittany is going to go to another war just as I get out of it? Uh, who would they fight though? I mean they're kind of off on their own. I, they they were fighting like Switzerland and Genoa last time. Yeah. Yeah they've got Papal State. Oh because I went into that horrible war with support. I just got out of I just Got out of two wars I should not have fought. Fairly lightly. Okay, we're gonna not push our luck. No more, no more stupidity with Venice. So, um, so much fun. We're keeping content in Noble though. That's mine.
so I'm kind of to blame for um, your Savoy issues since I sort of like excommunicated him. <laughs> well, no, you excommunicated Milan. Savoy was the one that declared war. It's their own fault. That's right, I did excommunicate Milan, not Savoy. And I was thinking that would be a great. Let's pick up some Milanese territory. Everyone's going to beat them up. But no, they have powerful, frightening, scary friends. Just like the Ottomans. It's like I've forgotten how to fight wars. I should never have played Portugal. Yeah. I got too used to fighting Indian tribes, which you don't care who their friends are because you just beat them. And I got complacent. It's ruined my game. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to be okay. Cause once hey, everybody, let's play the excommunicate game. <laughs> <laughs> once Denmark takes Danzig, the Poland, Poland will hate them, and then we can go to war for Danzig. I'll take it, and Poland and Austria will go into war for it. All right, we're going to be okay. <sighs> Complications in the HRE, I tell you what. Purinio, where the heck is that? Oh, poop. Oh, poop indeed. Venice needs armories. Actually, we need mercenaries is what we really need, but... There's some armories we might go on this here. Alright, so I'm glad you guys are not watching Venice because Venice's game for the next couple of years is to improve relations with some of the vassals and annex them so I free up some diplomatic relations. So be glad you're watching France. <laughs> No, I would not like 10 revolt risk for my events, thank you. I have enough. Does Naples start under a personal union with Aragon, or do they just keep invading in every game I play? No, uh, they start under it. Well, they appear to have broken it, so go Naples. Go Naples. Mm-hmm. Oh, here comes the English army. Come at me, bro. Since I'm just sitting around for a while, I decided to ditch my amazing ruler in favor of gaining more Republican tradition back. Don't want to burn too much of it. I think I'm just going to go through these phases of regaining Republican tradition and then burning it on an awesome, ridiculous ruler for a while, and then switch back to regular elections. Be kind of interesting. We'll cycle through it. Indeed. Portugal, you still don't want out of this war. <sighs> Portugal. How many times do I have to abuse your army, Portugal? <laughs>
Come on, England. Come hit me. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Want you to attack me. Attack me, England. Come get me. Man, I'm half tempted to do attack him. Do so, it. Vindy, as France, what are your uh, current missions since I am watching my relations go up with my vassals right now? Uh, I am trying to boot England completely out of France. Okay. Um, I am going to be uh, vassalizing Brittany. Um, I've just vassalized all of Ireland except for Meath, which I hope to claim. Ooh, nice. That's very nice. I'm allied with Scotland. So, you're basically poised to crush England and just take the whole island for yourself before Correct. they even really get off the ground. That's, uh, I like that. Yep. Biggest problem right now is Portugal. I need Portugal out of this war. If you can, I would annex Cumbria. Because that'll give you a French province from which to make further claims off of into the rest of the island. Yes, nice. that's not a bad idea. I don't know that I'll be able to, but we'll see what I can get. That or don't claim Gascony, and then just leave it there, and you can keep uh, going to war over it without ever taking it. <laughs> well, you'll always have the claim on uh, Calais, right? Yeah, it's, yes. it's a core, so you can oh, always true. just okay. go to war with England. Right. Yeah, as long as they don't have it. There you go. Never mind. My British I very Jesus. much regret putting my navy in co. I, I just, I should not have done that. I should have put it in Ayrshire. Mm -hmm. Because now I can't move that 20 stack off of Ireland. Right. I just figured, eh, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna have Scotland up here. And I forgot to call Scotland in, so... Um, we are at our timer. We want to go ahead and pause. Okay. All right. Well, interesting game. Uh, Kamashin got pretty damn lucky in his war. Skin of my teeth. I am punching England in the face. And, uh, Brandenburg, what you been up to? I am preparing for a war on Denmark. And probably going to war with the Teutonic Order in a couple years after that. Nice. Yeah, the Denmark War is going to be big. Hopefully Austria and Poland will go in. I'm taking a look here, and it looks like both of them will. So it'll be a big, big war. Uh, it looks like Bohemia, Sweden, Norway, Denmark, and uh, Muscovy will be in on this one. So it's going to get interesting. Nice. I see you got Ostprusen, too. So very cool. I did. So trying to connect my uh, territory here. So. Yep. All right. Very good. Well, uh... Hope to see you all next time. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We do appreciate your feedback and uh, appreciate your liking us. Gets us more viewers, and more viewers are what we need because I don't think there are actually any. <laughs> but uh, anyway, we shall see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Take care.